Peace and blessings. Welcome to Queen L LLC. This is Queen L. Thank you so much for joining me today. So this is part two of my Mudras video. If you have not seen part one of my Mudras video regarding 10 most recommended Mudras from the Chopra Center, I will link it above. So Mudras are hand symbols used during meditation to provide um, relief and to also improve our holistic wellness. Mudras have been used for thousands of years and they have origins in China and India. Now in today's video, I will discuss mudras that are used to help align and open our seven chakras. Now, of course, there are many more chakras, but the seven most common chakras, the seven main chakras, have mudras aligned to them as well as accompanying chants, and I would like to discuss those today. Now, the first mudra, we will start from the root chakra on up to the crown chakra, and if you haven't seen um, my chakra 101 video, I will also link that above so that you can get more information about the seven main chakras. So now, for the root chakra, which is near the base of the spine, it is um, essentially the root of us. For this mudra, this is our standard mudra. Um, it's also known as Gayan, and I mentioned that in part one of my mudras video. So you just hold your index finger to your thumb and the other three fingers you hold straight and you would rest your hand, the back of your hand, on your knee or your thigh, whichever is most comfortable, and you would do this with both hands. So with this mudra, you would chant LAM, and you would say LAM as you are in position. The next mudra is for the sacral chakra. This one is called BAM, and you would rest your right hand over your left, and then you would have your thumbs touching. On this mudra, you would hold against your abdomen, and you would chant VAM. This mudra, if you have seen my part one video, is similar to Dhyana. The next mudra represents the solar plexus chakra. This one is called Ram. You clasp your hands together, you cross your thumbs like so. I have my right thumb over my left thumb and you hold your hands in between your heart and your stomach near your center and that's where the solar plexus chakra is located. Um, it's out of frame, so you can't see it, but you would hold your hands like this against you. And you would chant, Ram. And this one, um, essentially, will be about two inches above your navel. The next mudra represents the heart chakra. This one is called Yam. And this one is similar to the one for root chakra, you hold your index finger and your thumb of your right hand together with your other three fingers straight and you hold your hand against your heart and this one you would chant yam the next mudra is ham and this one represents our throat chakra now, this one, you hold your hands together again, but this time you interlace your fingers and you have your thumbs touching again. And you would hold your hands near your stomach or abdomen. So again, fingers interlaced, thumbs touching. And this one, you would chant palm. The next one is for the third eye chakra. This one is known as Om. And for this mudra, you hold your hands together again, but this time you have your middle fingers touching and all of your other fingers you clasp together like so. So I have my hands like this, 
you pull down your other fingers, middle fingers touching like so, and then you have um, your hands against just under your um, breast area and just hold them against you. And this one, you would chant Aum. The next mudra is representing our crown chakra. Now, this one, you hold your hands together again. You interlace your fingers. And this time, you have your pinkies upright. If you're wondering what I'm doing with my thumbs, I'm just crossing them over as well. So again, interlacing fingers, including thumbs. And then have the pinkies up. So then you hold your hands against your stomach or abdomen. And this one is known as Ong. So you chant Ong. So how do you use these mudras? What I do when I like to use my chakra mudras during meditation, I first center myself and I contemplate which chakra I feel may be out of alignment or a little off balance and then I make a point of focusing my energy on that chakra and using the mudra just helps me as a mindfulness practice with regard to that line of focus so I hope that this has been helpful to you please feel free to ask any questions that you may have or provide any feedback below in the comment section Thank you so much for joining me today. Peace. Ashe.